I'm going to start by acknowledging the Larrakia people. Um, uh, a lot of what we do is involving indigenous people. I'm going to talk very briefly um, about our, our staff. We've got, apart from me, there's Bowen Mullen and uh, working with in, indigenous issues, and then uh, John Wynarski and Don Franklin, who tried to retire, but we haven't let him yet. Uh, done, been doing a lot of work with him on, on threatened species. And then I've got a, a lovely bunch of, of PhD students on a whole range of different topics. Um, and I'm pleased to say that, that four of them have completed their ethics, movement requests, risk assessments, and other things. They're out in the field doing work, which is, <laughs> which is wonderful. Uh, um, Veronica is the only one here who's, who's just arrived, and she's yet to go through that wonderful process. Um, so Ben's working on, on uh, protect, private protected areas, Veronica's just starting on uh, work on Galapagos Islands, Jen's down in, in um, APY lands, working on a project that Bo and Marlon will talk about. Uh, I've got a couple of people working on cranes, one in North Queensland, one in Cambodia, uh, Tim and, and Robert. And then I've got a couple of master's students that I'm involved with, one in Bhutan and, and another in uh, Tanzania. And uh, these are people coming through the, the um, coursework master's uh, program. That's, and they're wonderful people coming from all over the world to that program. Uh, and then there's a bunch of others who are being examined. Uh, I've got photographs of some of them. There's a number that who are co-supervised who have come up under, and, and some other MTEM. Uh, and I've got, I just got three major projects. Uh, one is, is another of these NESP hubs. Uh, we're very lucky, we're part of three of them at, at CDU. Uh, group of us involved, it's a, it's a very large group of researchers. We've done the budgeting on this. Uh, it's, it's 30 million altogether. We get three and a half. It pays for couple of the postdocs maybe, it's spread so thinly that you get the money in, but it doesn't cover that many people. But we've got lots of things we want to do with it, and what it's going to do, these nest hubs, is actually bring together people from around the, the country to work on these issues, and we will use this for leverage on all sorts of different projects. It's, it's really very exciting uh, initiative. And then the other two projects... Uh, one's an ARC project, and the other is, is actually funded by CDU. And those ones I'd like Marlon and Bo to talk about. Thank you, Stephen. So in the ARC project, Indigenous people have pushed to engage in land and sea management because it helps in meeting cultural obligations to protect and enhance connections to country. However, for the external investors, it is the work of Indigenous land management that bring about maybe, for example, lower greenhouse gas emissions or conserved biodiversity that are of greater uh, attention to them. This means that indigenous and conservation values do overlap, but far from completely, so the reasons for supporting and funding indigenous and land and sea management activities differ. This project will help indigenous land and sea managers report to traditional owners and countrymen on whether their engagement with investment is, investors is meeting local needs. At the same time, it will assist land and sea managers to take advantage of opportunities for increased income and support at national and global scales without compromising the interests of local people. The intended outcome is that Charles Darwin University, along with its 13 partners, will work together to develop better tools for measuring Indigenous land and sea management performance. The team's particularly interested in developing indicators that measure performance across social, cultural, livelihood, spiritual, and environmental domains. On the next one, the Indigenous Health and the Environment Scoping Project. This is part of a research group of about 20 persons from Charles Darwin University and Menzies, along with the Aboriginal Research Practitioners Network that is hosted at Real. They've got seed funding to develop a collaborative long-term research program. This project aims to extend the research done on the Healthy Country, Healthy People Project. The intended outcome is that a business plan will be developed and we'd like to note that this is just one of three projects that ARPNET is undertaking with Charles Darwin University, the other two being with the Bushfire Natural Hazard CRC and the Higher Education Participation and Partnerships Program. So how can this work inform the future of our research group? 
where we'll offer some thoughts on where to from here. Thank you, Marlon. And uh, I guess I'm, I'm putting my own flavour on this future. Um, it, I'm talking on behalf of the uh, of the uh, the research group under Stephen, but uh, it's, it's probably got a bit of a, a bow flavour to it. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So I guess you can see that there's there's a bit of a cross cutting theme to all of the work that we're doing, and and that theme is is really about governance. So how we make decisions about in our case, natural resource management uh, or, or use of natural resources or what some people might call looking after country. Uh, really, our, our research as a whole is, is a response to the challenges for our collective futures that all of us are facing, all of us are thinking about. Our work's attempting to achieve better ways for humans to make decisions that increase our resilience and our ability to adapt and mitigate uh, some of the oncoming environmental, social, cultural and, and economic shocks. Um, some that are coming, some that have already started to arrive. Uh, so to do this work, which is quite complex, we're engaging with a range of partners from research, community, government and NGOs uh, to sit together and develop principles, processes and practices uh, to inform good decision making from all perspectives, not just from some. And we're doing this in a transdisciplinary way. So we're not, we're not privileging one disciplinary knowledge. We're treating all as equals and, and hopefully rising above disciplinary knowledge as well. And it's not a, a tokenistic incorporation of something like traditional knowledge into our work. It's actually a meaningful uh, collaboration with the people that we work with. In fact, uh, in a lot of ways, we're actually being led by, by people who call themselves Bush professors, sometimes just to remind me that I might be a doctor, but they're Bush professors and put me back in my place. We've been incredibly fortunate, um, all, all of us in the group have been incredibly fortunate to have built some partnerships with some very thoughtful, intelligent and skillful uh, Aboriginal leaders. Um, and they're teaching us really about how to be in this present moment and to under, understand the stakes uh, of the decisions that we're making and to reach mutually beneficial ways of moving forward that are in good faith, uh, that we're working together here in this moment to find solutions. It was interesting, uh, the difference between research and solutions. We're definitely working on solutions. So, th so through this work, we're, we're constructing real intercultural spaces uh, that at least resist ongoing colonisation, and we'd like to think that we're creating opportunities for decolonisation. Uh, at the same time as strengthening partnerships between Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people. So it's not, it's a win-win situation, we'd like to suggest. Marlon mentioned that we're working with at least 13 organisations to do this work. That's only from one of the projects that we're involved in. Uh, there's, a, there's a huge range of unofficial partners in our work. Uh, we're, we're also being helped by uh, people here at CDU, like the Northern Institute and Menzies, and some of the NEST projects uh, we've, we've been working with. And individually, we've, we've got connections to a whole bunch of researchers from uh, across the nation and, and globally, really. And I guess the other point is that we're working across scales from the really, really tiny of uh, a group of uh, uh, clan members uh, in Arnhem Land or the Kimberley uh, to engaging with the Northern Development Agenda or working with global conservation uh, agencies or institutions. And we're, we're delivering some of our knowledge through our teaching as well. We're, we're giving guest lectures and hopefully We'd like to engage with that a lot more. So the, I, I could go on talking about all the work we're doing, but I've just been given the yellow card. Thanks, Andrew. Um, and, and I'm not doing this just to brag. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to own any of this work. It's actually really collaborative work, and it has to be that way. Uh, if, we're, if we're going to work to solve some of these complex problems, we need to collaborate with each other, and that's what we're doing. So I'm, I'm really proud of, what, of the work we've been able to achieve in the last few years. Um, well, the last few years, I guess, over, over five years now, we've been working together. But we're really just starting out on this research program. Um, there's a lot of work that we need to do over the coming decades, and uh, 
sometimes, in some ways, we're dealing with what could be called wicked problems. So they take time and they take resources. But it's really exciting and meaningful work that I find personally satisfying. By seeing all of the difference with the people that we work with, uh, the different values, the different interests, cultures, ways of being, knowing and doing, across all of the different scales, uh, by seeing those as strengths rather than points of conflict, we're working together with research partners to develop useful governance tools, uh, NRM projects and research outcomes. And we want to continue to work in this way. And I guess, who knows in the future, maybe CDU could become one of the first intercultural, truly intercultural uh, higher education institutions. Uh, it's a tough challenge, but I know that there's uh, plenty of us here at CDU and outside who'd, who'd like to work on that project as well. So, thanks. <laughs>